Cam Radio, we go ham at your boy Tony G. Big Lou, Big Lou's out there in the in Hawaii. It could be Hawaii. <laughs> Hawaii is good. Um, a lot, you know, a lot going on. We don't have too much longer before football starts. You got some injuries. Uh, I want to talk a little bit about the running back situation. Okay. The yeah, uh, they had a big meeting, a virtu- uh I guess a huge. 10 way call with a bunch of running backs, top running backs. Yeah. Uh, and I guess they're trying to figure out how they can get some leverage because uh, they feel like they're not getting paid. Um, their, va- they, their value has gone. They're not, they're not able to get the big, the big payday like they, they wanted. Uh, yeah. Um, they're, uh, Saying that they're being devalued because Value. that was quarterbacks right. are doing yeah. more running now, so you know they're being devalued. And when it's time for them to, you know, try to score their, you know, their big contract before it starts going downhill, it's like you know they don't get resigned or they get franchise tag, you know. So in a way, I I, I feel where they're coming from, Tony, but at the same time. The uh, at the same time, the NFL is evolving. It's getting, you know, it's already more offensive friendly, and um, uh, now with with bubble screens and flats and quick outs, and with the quarterback protection, you know, it kind of does uh diminish the running back. Uh, it's it kind of does diminish the running back position because. You now you run a two tight end set, you can pull that blocker tight end back to fullback, and uh, you can put you can get a small receiver now to go out in that flat and make some things happen. But I, I, uh, I definitely agree with you there, but I also think that this is a backlash of the quarterbacks getting a lot of money. There's only mm-hmm. so much money to go around, right? And, and one thing that I was taught, if everyone's not paid equally, it makes the, it makes the the groove work very fragile in certain places. Right, you know what I mean? Right. Because if the kicker makes two million dollars a year, he's not mostly going to ride with the the quarterback. Quarterback could go, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not playing for six games, and they can keep all the money. Right. Yeah, you make a whole lot more money than the kicker. The kicker, you know what I mean? The kicker needs his money, but I think. And when I say backlash, I mean there's only so much money to be going around. We've talked around, we talked about this a hundred times. Mm-hmm. And, and Kansas City's reworking uh, Mahomes' deal. Uh, yes. They got. Um, I can't remember the defense. I just forgot his name. But the uh, for Kansas City, they haven't signed him yet. Uh, 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 Chris Jones is it? Chris Jones? Yeah, uh, the defensive defensive uh, end. Like a defensive- the defensive end or defensive tackle? Yeah. I want to say it's Chris or Charlie Jones. One of the two. And the, they, they're a huge factor. Yeah. On the team. And in the last couple of years, you've seen Kansas City let people go. Mm-hmm. Tyree Hill, they've moved other people around, just kind of like the New England way, and, and we replace you. You know what right. I mean? And nothing against Tyree Hill, but they got rid of him, plugged in someone else. And they won a Super Bowl. Um, so the Tyreek Hill thing really didn't hurt them. You know, I mean, it right. was everybody thought, oh man, without Tyreek Hill, that offense then, is so is set up so that they need someone else with the certain certain um skill sets, you know what I mean? Right. Uh, and yeah, so and and the way exactly what you said, Tony, with the way that offense set up, it's almost it's almost a plug and play system. Still got to have a talented receiver in that spot. Oh, yes. Yeah, you got to have the talent. So, you know, but it's almost it's almost a plug-and-play system where uh, if you get a, a, a good receiver or somebody that's of equal talent to the person that you had there, then there could be some results in that. Absolutely. They proved that. I mean, they definitely proved that by winning another Super Bowl. Um I, you know, but like I said, they keep, um, they keep reworking these contracts, and you know, 
everybody has to be able to come on board and th- and he wants more money um so at this point in his career he's got two super bowl rings he could go out and get the big package you right. know what i mean so I, I guess it all depends at what stage of your career are you at or what do you want to do you want to keep winning super bowls um or you just want to go and get paid and which is either either answer is the correct answer it doesn't right. matter I mean, yeah so they're both correct. It's just whatever you want to do. But I, I, at the end of the day, this is what we've talked about a hundred times is, I mean, there's only so much money and the quarterback right. is getting a big whopper of it. And so, every, you know, and, you know, offensive linemen are getting paid more um, defensive uh, defense wide receivers. I mean, there's no, I mean, only everybody can, yeah, everybody you can only stretch it so much. Somebody's going to stretch the- so far, yeah. and somebody somebody has to bite the bullet. You know, you got to cut the corner somewhere. And uh, unfortunately, right now, it's on the running backs because, you know, that's, that's, on that's the one spot where, you know, they can afford to, you know, pay less or cut the fat a little bit. Yeah. Now, I think it's great that they go in every season and uh, rework Mahomes' contract to keep them, you know, in contention. But, uh, myself, you know, personally, I would, you know, it would be, it would be kind of a, a, a hard decision for me because, you know, do you want, do you want the hardware? Do you want the ring, the recognition? Or, do you say, okay, I've got all the money I'm going to get. Right. You know, uh, now I can afford to take less money right. to get that ring. But how far in your career, you know, do you have to wait or, you know, or how how for how long do you have to play? You know, I guess that's determined on, on your skill set. But, you know, that would be a tough decision, you know. Do you know? Well, you know, at the end of the day, he's an owner. He's if he can afford to pay me and everybody else, plus pay players that make more than me, then I should just des- I deserve mine. Yeah. <clears throat> Excuse me, but at the same time, like you say, it's team effort. So, in order for you to get the success that you want, it's going to have to be a sacrifice. Yeah, and that's they, cute. That's and that's where it comes in at that that sac- and that's where the sacrifice comes in. It comes the sacrifice is the wallet. So you know, it just depends. And with me, I would probably make you know, I would probably make or try to. There's a there's a goal that I want to set for myself, right? And once I reach that. Then I'll be like, okay, let's go get some hardware. You know, let's 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 put a stamp on it. So when I'm done, then that's more, you know, that I can add to my credentials to make, you know, my finances work for me once this career is over. So and- I probably would take the cut. I probably would take the cut after, you know, if I'd have made enough. Not, he's not so with him, it's not a cut. He just wants more money. Yeah, he just wants yeah. more. Yeah, it's not that he, 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 he wants to maximize while he's still in his prime. Right, gotcha. and that, that's where yeah. it's at. It ain't like they're asking, "Hey, you." And he still makes a very a lot of money. But yeah. just go back with the running backs and injuries. The Buffalo Bills running back got hurt out for yeah. the whole point in a non-football. Uh, uh, he was on a jet ski, just sitting mm-hmm. there, and somebody hit him. With another jet ski and tore his ACL, he'll be out. The oh whole my year. goodness! Twenty twenty three. Now, in that case, um, uh, Naheem, uh, he was when we got him. I thought he was going to fix our running game, and it, it was right. like, but he was where he where he's a threat was kick returns, punt returns. Because remember, okay. the game, they came back after they played after that terrible thing that happened in. Uh, Cincinnati um mm-hmm. next game he came out and scored two two uh he read two runbacks that's where he's explosive at um right. can he be replaced sure um you know it's just like anything it's uh in his situation though actually they were talking about today that because it was a non-football injury 
you know, it's all business and lawyers. So now they have to look at, will he get any money for this season? Wow, absolutely. Because it's non-football related. So in right. the contract, it's like uh, Ben Roethlisberger and the whole motorcycle thing. Right, you're not supposed to be um, – because the guy was going – like there's no skydiving, there's no no skydiving, motorcycle – the list was long. Um, yeah, yeah. And, and, you know, it's terrible that something like that happens, but it happened. And and that's – I mean, that's part of it too. I was like, okay, now they don't have this weapon for the season. Um, and, and, there, and there's going to be some teams this year – like we'll go, we'll do the th- like every year we do. We'll do you know pick the over under, who's going to win, how many games they're going to win. We'll do all that. But you know, really, all it takes is an injury or two, and a team that maybe was t- we thought going to be ten and seven, they could be seven and ten. Right. You know, what I mean, it's just, um, it's very unfortunate. There is a lot. It seems like the, the last couple of years. We've seen a lot of injuries. And the NFL's added a bunch of new rules this year. And there's one, and I'm going to get this wrong because I was skimming over it. So basically there's one about handing off the ball. The college setup pitch, mm-hmm. well, they, they, they consider that to be a forward pass, which actually, what actually that does, that hurts running quarterbacks. Right. Because now once they start, once they right. start and they that, let it go, that's forward pass, even if they're behind the line of scrimmage now. All right. They can't do that. They can't, in other words, they can't run up. They can't run up to the line of scrimmage and then do the little the little shovel. Because I really think or the little shovel flick is what I call it. You know, I've always calling stuff the wrong thing. So I so, say the shovel flick. I think the NFL is trying to make they want it to be super, super competitive. Apparently, they're right. trying to they're trying to avoid um, over dominance uh, by one particular team. Well, I I say that, but you know, like New England was dominant for twenty years, but really mm-hmm. that was a lot of you know great set a great a great program. And I think right, right, they had a great system set up. With Kansas City, they have a great setup. They have a, they have a great setup. Um, a great program where if things go their way, I mean, they definitely could, they could win another one or two Super Bowls, maybe more. I don't know. I mean, it's, it's right. hard to say. Just depends how long they can keep, you know, the, the, uh, getting the studs out there. Um, but yeah, that NFL definitely made some rule changes, trying to make it a little more parallel uh, over the, uh, over the league. Um, I think that, that was a huge, Huge one, um, but I also I also think that they're doing a lot. I think, and I, and this is what I think. I I think some of it's because they think they're trying to protect the quarterback, trying mm-hmm. to take. And then they've changed the kickoff rules to be really exactly like um, the college college football. So try to cut back on high speed coll- um, collisions. Um, you know they're they're trying to put stuff into into effect. I think. I mean, I, I don't know. Um, there were some more rules. I didn't. I was just, you know, just kind of glimming over all that. Um, mm-hmm. Anything going on with the Saints? Um, Saints news. Um, some. Uh, it's pretty much hit and miss. They got some free agency rumors. Some of them have been debunked already. You know, right. they had. You know, it. it it's almost like. It's almost like the Lakers in basketball. Anytime there's free agent, oh, Saints sign, and I'm like, okay, Saints, is, you know, they did an excellent job, you know, with the talent they did. They were able to acquire, you know, with, you know, with their cap issues, right? But um, right, and um, uh, in Saints news, it's pretty much the same. Uh, they started, uh, they're starting their mini camp soon. Um, everyone's excited. Um, of course, we know of uh, John Gruden's there to to he's really running an offense, but he's like a consultant to help David Carr or whatever. But he's he he's doing the offense. We know that, 
and he's still um and he is still uh going back and forth with the NFL with that whole uh release of the tweet thing. Apparently it's not just him, you know, it, it, you know, it, it's his his uh his take on it is why just me? There was more than just me in those conversations that, you know, was loose with the tongue. So why am I being singled out? You know, what's what, you know, so he's playing the whole I'm being uh, blackballed by the owners type thing going on, the NFL against me type thing, you know. is, is They're out to get me not solve the issue because of how things happen. So, you know, that we'll, we'll wait and see with that whole soap opera, but I know it's going to drag out. But in, 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 in football news, that's 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 pretty much it. Um, hit and miss on free agent signings. Nothing's confirmed yet. That's why I really hadn't reported, you know, the free agents, you know, they and all of the top free agents they're interested in. Uh, Washington got wow. sold. They got new owners. Washington. Yes. Yep. Yeah, so, Washington Commanders. There may be another uh, name change in the future. Uh, I, I saw that on my news feed. They might change the name of the team again. But uh, I think Commanders is okay. You know, yeah. Washington, it's D.C., you know, Commander-in-Chief. You know, Commanders yeah. work for me. It, it works for me, but, you know, they might want to, you know, do something else. Well, we'll, you know, we'll let them, we'll see what comes up. But uh, that's pretty much, that's pretty much it in Saints news. Just uh, preparing for mini camp, you know, talking about the rookies that's coming in. and uh, But nothing really juicy coming out of that camp. Uh, maybe the uh, maybe um, I'll, I'll I'll update. I'll have some updates. Uh, I'm going to look into uh Kamara's situation, see what's going on with that, and uh, they have some enough. free agents that they're interested in bringing in. Uh, Dalvin Cook was one of them, but I know that was a rumor because we don't have the money for Dalvin Cook, so. So we just uh I'll monitor the meal and then I have more updates on what's going on with the Saints and things like that. Is there anybody holding out for the Saints? They got everybody coming back. Oh, uh, they got everybody coming back. Uh they work things out with uh Michael Thomas. And okay. it, they, they're still, you know, they they're still working with some stuff with him. They, he's come back, but I think they're trying to work a deal out because you know he's um he's been bit by the injury bug yeah. as well. So this is going to be a ball out season for him. So it's going to be interesting to see. And everybody's loving David Carr so far. You know, everybody's loving him. You know, he has right attitude. He's coming in. He's humble. He's letting everybody, you know, he's soaking up all the information from everybody. And that's what you want to do when you're a new quarterback coming into town. You don't want to come into the team like, you know, uh, y'all need me or, you know, I don't need y'all. Y'all need me. It should be the other way around. You know, I need y'all. And I think that's the approach he's taking. So I think, I think for him, I think it was a good, I think after, after it happened and I evaluated it, I thought it was a good situation. It was like, he needed to get out of, out of Las Vegas. Yeah. Um, It was time. And the saints needed a quarterback. They tried every, I mean, last year, that was the, they just didn't have a reliable quarterback last year. Um, and it, it just didn't work out. So now I think with him being at the Saints, I, I think I think I think it's gonna be a good pairing. Um mm -hmm. Jimmy G passed his physical, so he will he will sign his deal. He will be um he will be the Las Vegas uh uh Raiders quarterback. Um I think and I'm gonna tell you what else they're doing in in Vegas that's that's going to kind of, so they're building and which is funny. Cause it's like when they had car, they weren't basically they're building a new England style setup there U using three tight ends. It's going to be the same kind of football. Cause all the coaches, where are they from? The new England. Really? Who, so, who did they coach with when they were in new England? Jimmy G it's going to be a carbon copy of yeah. 
the Jimmy G football program, which is smart football. Dump, dump, run, dump, dump, yeah, run, dump, run, dump, run. run. Yeah, and it's going to be like, and they're going to win some games because I, I, I mean, they have, they've, they've picked up a couple. Like I said, they got three really good tight ends that they've man managed to get, um, and which goes into the New England. They love big tight ends, blocking, passing. Uh, you know, I mean, it's like it was funny to watch it, and I was like, I guess they decided, like, hey, we're gonna. We're going to go all in with this. The only thing with Jimmy G is if he can stay healthy. Right. Yeah. I mean, he's got to he, stay healthy, which means that it's up to, um, it's up to the head coach and the people upstairs to, uh, work that line. Yeah. Protect now, I don't know if Vegas retain the, uh, that offensive line coach. They had a very good offensive line coach for a can't while. His name. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I can't remember his name, but I think he got away. I'm not sure if he's back or not. I think he got away and went to another team for, for, for a stint. But uh, I'll, 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 I'll look it up later. But yeah, he was a very good offensive line coach, and I think they lost him. I think they lost him. I think he uh went to another team, but I'll, I'll look it up. I think, uh, I think the way that Vegas. By having Jimmy G, uh, coaching staff, New England, they're putting in the same setup. I think Jimmy G will have a really good season if he can stay healthy. Um, mm -hmm. He can stay healthy. I think. Uh, um, I, 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 I look. I look forward to the uh, the Vegas being in the playoffs. I mean, all reality with, and, and you know, I mean, is it going to be bombs away football? No, it's going to be it's going to be hard nose. Yeah, uh, we're smash mouth. Just like can't just like uh um, work every down. Work at, just like San Francisco. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Their, their setup is so um so stringent that if you're if you're a good quarterback and a smart quarterback, he can put you in, and that was proven last year. I mean he I mean it went from one to the other to the other, and then he got hurt, and at that point they had no bat. I mean they were pulling yeah. guys. Yeah, they had a four yeah, string. Basically pulling so, four yeah. string and punters yeah. and all kind yeah. of those, <laughs> trying all to, kind of extra guys to try to get their job done. But you know, they 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 play such good football, fundamentally good football, um, in San Francisco. They really do. And I won't be surprised if they finish 12 and 5, 13 and 4. Um I won't be surprised at all. You know, it's kind of like a lot of people are putting a lot of you know, it's the same thing. Like a couple years ago with Cleveland, you know they're they're on the Detroit Lions, um, and I think because of the because of the division, I think they have a good chance of winning that division only because it's not the strongest. You know what I mean? Like Green Bay, you know they they lost Rodgers. Uh, Chicago, I don't know if they're really ready. Um, you know everybody else is just kind of mediocre, and I and I and I could see. I can see Detroit winning ten plus games going to the playoffs. Um, right, and they got a right. good, and that's another good setup. They're changing the mentality. It's got a lot of really good players. Um, I, I think um, I think Minnesota is going to regress. It's also I also think Green Bay is too, and uh, and we all know that Chicago is being rebuilt for the last fifteen years. So. I mean, they're off to. I, a good, they got I, a lot I'm of not understanding what's going on with building around Justin Fields. I'm well, of course, you know the funds are not there. I don't think. I think they're in uh, in a salary cap nightmare as well. But man, man, they got some work to do up there. Yeah, so it's really to be honest, Minnesota should. They should run away with the division, but they're not. I think Detroit is going to give them a run for their money. And uh, there are going to be some games that they win that we're not going to expect for them to win. Yeah, because they had some games last year that they were close. I mean, they mm -hmm. could have won e either way. Um, but it just, you know, it just didn't, sometimes it just don't fall for you. Uh, right. So – you know, just kind of, uh, kind of crazy. But the good news is, is like I said, that division is kind of 
kind of soft. Uh, so I think that they can, I think they can muster 10 wins. And I mean, geez, the city of Detroit has been wanting and waiting patiently to have a team, uh, something to be proud of, I guess. And um, it's been a long time since Barry Sanders played and, um, mm-hmm. and they had, and they've had a couple, you know, years where <laughs> things started off, but it just it always seemed like something bit them in the butt. Uh, just wasn't able to close the deal. But watching them play last year, they played with an enthusiasm that I haven't seen. Um, but you got new coach, you got a new coach that's fire hot, and young guys that are buying off into it. And that's all, I mean that's the name of the game, man. You just gotta you gotta have the dream, and you gotta sell it. And if they, you can sell that dream and have people have people get on board and go, man, I want part of this. And then it's just it just catches on to so everybody's like, yeah, this is what we're doing. And I, I think he's got that together. I mean, provided no crazy injuries. Um, you know, like I said, injuries change everything. It changed the whole. You know, I, if you look at really look at it, I mean, Kansas City, Mahomes was this close of not starting. You know, what I mean, of being out. Absolutely. In some kind of way, he held on. I mean, because it was a point where he could barely stand on that leg. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. It, it looked yeah. bad. I was like, "Oh, it's oh, it's 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 a done deal. It's a done deal for them." And, and you know, in reality, in the it, Super Bowl, he was very limited mobility. Yes, but he made it yes. work. I mean, mm-hmm. he was he was holding on by. I mean, they managed to they managed to keep it to keep it together, keep it within the parameters of his mobility. And they won, and that was pretty amazing to watch. Um, mm-hmm. We got a, a minute before we go to break. I want to thank everyone, like I always do. Uh, thank everyone for uh, for listening to Tony G and Big Lou on KHAM Radio. Uh, every Tuesday night, 8 o'clock, go to the KHAM.com, press play, and we're on. Or if you don't want to listen to us, there's 24 hours a day of great programming. There's other mm-hmm. shows, great music, uh, blues you can use. Um, there's a couple, uh, um, self-help hours, uh, with some young ladies that we work with, um, you know, just kind of life coaches as they call them. Um, yes. so we got a lot of great programming. You guys just tune in. I mean, put it on the radio station. You can literally, if you got Bluetooth in your car, you can Bluetooth, you can actually pick it up on your and Bluetooth it to the radio. So it's right. not like that thing. All right, guys, we're going to go ahead and pay some bills. With the sports book. All right, man. Thanks everyone for tuning in right here on KM Radio, where we go. KM Radio, we go ham with your boy Tony G and Big Lou. It's Tuesday night, eight o'clock. On KM Radio, the sports book. Uh, it's kind of one of those times of year that's kind of slow. Been take what though, Lou. I've been we've been messing around with some baseball, um, mm-hmm. two team parlays. Um, you know, uh, two teams, one one team bets. Um, been doing pretty good. Uh, book sports book's been a little bit slow, um, but there was tennis. Uh, I, I was watching a lot of people that were betting on Wimbledon. Um, there's always. There's uh, there's always um, always something, you know. What I mean, there's always people betting mm-hmm. on something. But the baseball has been pretty interesting. Um, like I said, just been kind of analyzing and 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 watching certain teams. Uh, yeah. Um, so, do you think the Angels are going to retain their uh, two way threat? I think um, um, it's going to be. Um, it's gonna be very interesting because yeah, there's, you know the Yankees are gonna come for them. Yeah, you know yeah, the Yankees are coming yeah. for them. The Yankees, <laughs> um, the Yankees are coming for them. Um, the Yankees need them. Uh, yeah, they do. They need some help. They got a lot of injuries. Uh, they're having a rough year. Um, I know there was a there was a there was a point where they uh, there was a point when they were when they were talking about that they actually could trade him. They could trade him and 
get him back because his contract's going to be up. So if they mm-hmm. trade him to a team for the rest of the season, <laughs> that team would have to meet the they, they have they have um they actually have first dibs back at him. So it's a way of clearing it, okay. and picking them up. But I think they're gonna. I think they're. I think the Yankees are gonna grab them. I think they're gonna go in a different, a different yeah. direction. Um, but you know that being that being said, I wouldn't totally be surprised if you know he did if he st- if he managed to stay stay there. Um, it's a uh, Angel small market area. You know, but it's it's a nice place. It's it's a great place to play baseball. I mean, you know, I know it's small market in New York. There's big market, big chicks. You know, so it'd be hard to say no. It's hard to say no to the Yankees when they make it ever so sweet for you to play that sport. Yeah, and well, that and they're, and they're picking up the money. Uh, but you know what's yeah. so cra- crazy is the Angels. So I really believe that the. Oakland is going to end up in Vegas. Oakland A's. I just really think that. I, I mean, I, I agree with you on that. I agree with you on that because of the fact that the basketball team moved, the hockey team moved. If I'm not mistaken, no, the hockey team. Well, the hockey team they they created a hockey. Yeah, team. they created the hockey team Expansion. there, and, and that then started the momentum for the football. And right, now, and o- Oakland Raiders. Oakland, moved. the Raiders will probably move. To they, uh, Los Vegas. Angeles, and, yeah, they move Vegas, right? They'll yeah, be they, in Vegas. Um, they'll be in they, Vegas as well, I think, because they're not putting any money, and maybe they may not have the money to. Uh, right. cause apparently, the stadium's in really disarray. The one that the A's play in, and so I've heard. I've heard that. Yeah, you heard, know, they're uh, very, very bad. Uh, very bad conditions just, there. Yeah, they just like I said, they just don't have the money. Um, and then obviously Vegas has the money. They bring in they they get the Golden Knights. Been in the league a few years. Won a Stanley Cup. Mm-hmm. You know now they got the now they got the Raiders. Um, baseball. Um, they have a women. They have a women's basketball team. Lost uh, a WNBA team. It'd be interesting to see if there would be anybody they would grab, if that could even happen. But I don't know. You know, a lot of these teams, um, you know, if they're in old stadiums. People are making better deal, better offers. Uh, they're saying, "Hey, man, I want a state of the art stadium." Uh, I mean, you can't blame them. I mean, who who? Right. Uh, I mean, when you know when Jerry first built the new Cowboy Stadium, I mean, it was. It was the baddest, you know, I mean, now there's been other ones open up, you know, I mean, so they're equal, if not better, because they're just Mm -hmm. newer. But that's the state of the art um, stadium, you know what I mean? And it's and the whole thing is, is it goes back to what we talked about earlier. You're trying to get people to come football players, basketball players, baseball players. They want to go, hey, I want to go to they don't want to go. Oh, man, where did I where did I get drafted for? Oh. You know, you right. want it to be, you want it to be a destination, um, right? You you know, you want it to be a big city where there's something to do all the time. There's you know, because nice especially when you first get drafted, you're young. You know, you want to be where it's happening. At. You want to be in a big city. You know, and and I get it, but so it'd be hard. It'd be hard. Now the kid from LSU, um, who got drafted. Let me see. There's a kid, the kid from LSU that got drafted, mm-hmm. number one. Um, I just forgot his name, but I got it right here. Um, okay. Not that, not that. So basically, he signed, he got a $9 million, he got a $9 million signing bonus. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah, former LSU outfielder and number two pick overall this year, MLB draft. Um, Cruz, first time he was introduced, first time member of the Washington National Organization. So, Cruz linked a nine million dollar signing bonus above the pick value of eight ninety or eight million nine hundred quarter to MLB pipeline. So, he just got paid. There's a bunch yes. of the LSU guys that are going to get paid. yes. 
they're I mean they're in there um they're in there like swimwear. There ain't no doubt about that. I mean, it's just <laughs> we're at one high on Lynn Walk. You know, it's just kind of one of those um things. You know, we were talking about uh that we're you know talking about running backs, and there's a quote. Um one uh, it's an it's an anonymous uh GM. And the quote he made was, I'd rather draft one high and let him walk after five years than pay him big money. You know, talking wow. about running, running backs. Um, so the running back, and like I said, it's, 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 there's a lot of different angles of it. Um, quarterback pay some of it. And we only could pay so much. Uh, and again, these guys are still making a lot of money, but they're trying to get, I get it. These guys are actually the, the new, the new professional athlete is is going after generational wealth you know they're trying to set not only themselves up but their grandkids and you yeah. know their kids families to, everybody yeah because yeah. when you when you look at it that's when people always say oh look at that rich fam well yes that's a rich family but you got to be smart with it to make mm -hmm. generational wealth have the investments you know what i'm saying and people right. have to keep contrib contributing to the to the purpose and you know right. that's now and that's one of the things you know and, and you know of course you know now that we've fallen into the the quote-unquote boomer category i now i do admire that about the youth that they are trying to maximize their value early sure. especially with professional athletes you know and and, and you know that 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 acquire a lot of their money in their younger years of their lives. Right. I'm a, I'm admired about how they are. You know, concerning their finances early. You know, so they can be secure. Learning from the past because when football first started, unheard of, challenging it. As the years went by, you know, things have changed. Things have tweaked a little bit. It's got a little bit more safety. They're yeah. holding them to those rules and those regulations. And the athlete, not only just in football, but all sports across the board, both male and female, they are looking to secure their future early, which is a good thing, which is Absolutely. a good thing. Yeah, it's a brand. Yeah, I mean, the, the players now know they're a brand. There's money mm -hmm. in advertisement. There's money in endorsement deals. Um, and they need to be on top of their investments. They need to have, you know, it's not just a, hey, come play football for me. Um, right. So, yeah, or come play a sport. I shouldn't say just football, but just mm -hmm. in general. Um, and, uh, yeah, definitely moving in the definitely moving in the right uh, right direction as far as that goes. The other thing is, is uh, um, right now somebody was asking me some questions. You know, right now all the futures bets are coming out. For football, um, if you know, I mean, some people are like, well, what, what do you mean that? I say, you know, like you could bet who's going to win the AFC, who's going to win the right. NFC, who's going to win the NFC. Super Bowl. Um, right. You know, it's they prop bets, uh, basically yep. what it is. I wouldn't bet the farm on it, but they're fun to they're fun to play, fun to play. Pick your team. Uh, I mean, there's some there's some uh, people that have made some money on picking the winner of the Super Bowl this early in the season. I mean, that's uh, it's like when the ladies when the ladies won from LSU. Uh, the basketball NCAA basketball, they were plus 700. And I actually knew a couple of people that laid down a little bit of money on them at the beginning of the season, um, wow. which is pretty amazing. I mean, you know, sometimes you just, you, you, you take a hunch and then you go from there. Uh, but yeah, there are a lot of prop bets um, out of the, you know, like I said, the season is going to start in the next 42 days or whatever preseason. Uh, and then, I mean, really we're at the end of July. I mean, yeah, yeah, yeah I mean, we're, we're, we're almost there. We're, yeah, we're, we're actually basically 30. what 20 day, three weeks out. Yeah, before, yeah, yeah, before preseason. Yeah, um, before preseason and training camp and yeah, all next, that, but you know, yeah, next week will actually be, you know, 31 days from September. So that'll mm -hmm. be 30, 39 days or 38 days to the first game. The first game is the eighth. That's the Thursday night game. Yes. Um, yes, the Hall of Fame. Well, yeah, game no, I was talking, you want to call yeah, it. Well, yeah, the Hall of Fame games for 
I'm talking about that's for the preseason, but that oh, actual the yeah. first, yeah, the first game, oh, the first actual regular season game, the September yeah. eighth. It's a Thursday night game. Yes, um, yes, yes. Yeah, and I haven't, uh, I haven't, I haven't found out exactly. Um, I know they're uh, haven't found out exactly. Um, I have to look the time, but I think it's, I think it's seven fifty five or whatever. But yeah, uh, it, it's that, not that on the sounds right. They'll, it'll be yeah. a prime time. Primetime yeah. game. Yeah, I guess yeah. it'll be – yeah, because not the NFL Network, but you have to check it out, uh, which is kind of cool. Uh, what we got going on in basketball? Well, in basketball, they have um, – some. Hard. they have a summer league going now. All of the uh, draft picks are, you know, getting a little playing time. And, um, of course, all eyes are on M- uh, Women Yama and yeah. how he's progressing, you know. Yeah, I think he's coming along like he was supposed to. You know, he has good games. Up, you know, up games, down games, which you know we we of course you know we figured that he's still got to learn how to play. You know, U.S. basketball. You know, right. it, it's a little bit the same, but you know, he the flow and how things work. So I, you know, I, I I'm just kind of burnt out on the extremists. <laughs> like you know, he's. Didn't you know the best thing in the world one minute and he has one bad game and now he's a bust. All right. Calm down. Let the guy learn the game first before let him learn the game before you make him Michael Jordan and before you throw him under the bus. You yeah. know, let him learn the game, let him fill it out first. Get some info instead of just going for the hot take. And that's but, what I, uh, I think he's gonna be fine though, with the Popovich yeah. and playing for the Spurs. He's going to be fine. I'm not worried too much about him. Yeah, I think he's going to be fine. I, you know, this time of year with so little out there, I mean, people are – they'll talk about anything. They're they are analyzing all kind of crazy stuff, and you're like, what? What are they talking about? I mean, there's – really, Where is this coming from? I mean, yeah. you know. Well, it's just a lack of um, – you know, there's some baseball stuff. Like I said, you had Wimbledon. Um, World Series poker ended last mm-hmm. week. Um and uh, you know, it's just one of those. It's just one of those things. Yeah, it's yeah. this time of the year where we put the focus on on foosball or football, if you want European football. You know, soccer. We call it soccer, but I don't want to. You know, I don't want to disrespect any of our European um, listeners and followers of the sportsbook army. I'm going to say football. Because it, it seems to me that they don't like that word soccer over there. Right, right. The football, yeah. <laughs> As this, this, I think that's a U.S. thing. I think, and I think for the sake of respect for the game, I think we should just keep soccer on our turf. Yeah. Like when we go to the World Cup and those, and those events, let's just call it football for the sake of peace. And we yeah. can call it soccer as long as we're on American soil. I think go. that, you know, and that shows respect Put to the, the game, on. you know. Yeah. yeah. You know, uh, and we were talking earlier during the break. And so Harding, where I know Harding's try where does Harding want to go? James Harding wants to go back to Houston. That's where he's happy at. That's where he's more familiar at. And he's a star in the nightlife there. Um, but I don't believe the like Portland. I don't think that Philly is going to let him go for anything. But to retain Harden, that's when you're going to get out of shape. You know, lackluster Harden. You can tell when it's not going his way, his play shows it, and I think that's what they're going to get, which will jeopardize what they got going on with Embiid because that's really going to make him want to go elsewhere and pursue his ring. You know, he's got his MVP now. Right. You know, he's done that part. Now he's ready to get his championship rings. And uh, I don't know. I don't think Philly is going to be that spot for him if they keep, you know, fumbling like they're doing. Now I'm pretty sure he's going to – now we're going to get James in the regular season. He's going to show up playing the regular season because, you know, he's got to play for the next team that he wants to go to or where he's trying to go. But 
I just don't. I just think there's going to be a regression when it comes to James Harden when he doesn't get to do what he wants to do. We've seen it in Houston. He'll quit on a team in a heartbeat. So I guess Why, my, you know you quit on the team and now you want to go back to the team. That 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 whole dynamic I don't understand yet, but yeah. With him with him back, does does Houston really even have a sh- a chance of winning a, a a championship? No, and I believe that's why they're not in such a rush to get him back there because they're going to go with their youth and build with what they have, which is an excellent nucleus of young talent that they have down there, and a couple of free agency signings, you know, because they gave uh, a big bag to the guy from uh, Memphis, I think. Yeah, right, 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 right. So I, I don't even think there's no room for Harden over there anyway. Not with the direction they're going in. I don't think they want that distraction. And that's you know. and that so basically that's the only that's all he wants is to go back to Houston. Yeah, or yeah. he definitely wants to leave Philadelphia, but Houston is where he really wants to go. And they're like, nah, we're not getting rid of you for peanuts and and Houston's like, you know, we know we can't win or go to the next level with him or our team. So we're just going to, you know, now that they're in the new management, it's going to be a new team. And they're starting from scratch, which is what you do. It's clean house, start from scratch, build it your way. So he may be stuck. He may be stuck in Philly. And that's going to be bad for both parties, I think. So you think, would you, would you think that the Lakers would be, would be interested at all? Uh, I don't think the Lakers would be interested in it because I think what the Lakers are doing is they are um, starting their transition out from the LeBron, LeBron era. You know, with the with the free agents that they that they brought in, they retain their their nucleus, their youth nucleus of the team, and they're trying to work some stuff with AD to make him like the man of the Lakers. So it seems like to me that they're preparing the house for LeBron to move out so that they can continue to be a contender or, you know, in the talk. So it won't be a crash and build after right. LeBron leaves. So, yeah, I, uh, I, I think, uh, I think that's what's going on there. I don't think, I don't think that there's no interest in Harden with the Lakers. I don't, I don't, you know, I don't think because he's a, he's a liability on defense a little bit. Well, he's not, he's not defensively. He's not where he was when he first came in. Okay. And Darvin Ham is a defensive minded coach. So that's not going to work for him. And uh, I'm not sure to be honest. I'm not even sure what team could work for him. With his style of play ball dominant. Seems yeah. like teams are going away from that. Yeah. Because the ball dominant ball is ISO ball, which slows down the tempo of the game. Right. Well, it seems, yeah, I don't know. When it comes to him, I don't know where. I mean, he was in Houston, then they went to Brooklyn. They had, you know, three superstars. That didn't work out. Did two seasons there. Went to Philly. Um <laughs> And that's not. It doesn't. They had a good. I mean, they they had a they had a good team, um, but they they didn't, definitely didn't win. And what about Ben Simmons? What about him? Well, uh, Ben Simmons is uh, now there was a rumor thrown out there because it's the Lakers. Yeah, there was a rumor thrown out there that uh, Ben Simmons says he wants to play with LeBron. But Ben Simmons can't play with LeBron when AD's there. But right. they can't move AD to the power forward position, which is what he wants to play. So, you know, but can Embiid and AD play? Probably. Because AD is not really a ball-dominant center slash power forward type. Right. It's like he kinda, he's kind of like KD in a sense. He just pick his spots and do what he does. He doesn't right. necessarily have to have the ball. Right. But he's more effective when he gets a lot of touches. So I don't know how that would work. You know, the MB AD dynamic. 
especially in the West where they like to run the ball up and down the court. Right. But I, I, I'm not sure. But he that's the, what the rumor is. But I think Embiid is like, okay, if I'm not going to win here, it's time to go somewhere and win. Yeah, I I think I think his time and I think his time in Philly, I think this year we will see if they don't make a deeper run, then I I think he's going to want out because yeah. it's going it's going to be a, a, a it kind of reminds me of uh, Shaq in Orlando. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Like we're we're yeah. pretty good, and uh, but we can't win the big one. Right. And he de- yeah, and he definitely wants to win. He definitely wants to win win the big one. And I think, I I think when they brought Harding in, you know that was the whole. You know, I think that they thought that was going to be the missing link that they that they needed, um, right. and it just it it looked well at times, um, but it just didn't pan out. Um, and then you know Harding, he he's not going to give anything. What I, to me, in my opinion, he don't give anything time to, to you know, to fester. I mean, right. oh, we win today, so I got to go. And it's like, wow, man, these teams that are winning. I mean, it they got to. Is a such thing called chemistry? Yes. You know, you got to build chemistry with your teammates. You just can't come out of the fall out of the sky and figure everything's supposed to move around the way you play ball. No. You go to another team and you buy into the system that that coach is running and you develop your game around the system. Now, if you go in that way, then the coach will work you in the system to where it can be more effective for you. But you just can't go in and expect everything to blow up and change around you unless you're LeBron or one of those guys that has the hardware to, you know, back up why you need to do what you need to do. Right, 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 right. Um, Yeah, it, it, like I said, I don't think he uh, gives – um, he, he doesn't give anything time to uh, – and I know there's a lot of players like that. Everybody's trying to move around. That's one thing that I liked about Golden State is they kept the core. Um, You know what I mean? They've kept the core mm-hmm. players. They they got pieces you moving out, but they kept the core. Um, right. And a lot of teams, you know, and uh, it would have been kind of cool to see KD stay somewhere and build around him. You know, what I mean, I I because I really like KD, um, and uh, uh, it is kind of you know, like I said, I would I would like, um, yeah, I'm with you on that, Tony. Would like to see him stay somewhere. Uh, yeah, and, stay somewhere uh, and get a ring. Stay somewhere and get a ring. Now, yeah, uh, and build your own dynasty. You know, what I mean, build yeah. your own, your own. Like, hey, man, remember when KD played all them years at Portland? I'm just, I'm just, uh, I'm just like making it up. But you know, what I'm right. saying, like, hey, um, so, but you know, we we just don't have. It's not like it's just not like that. Um, mm-hmm. like you know, we, we've seen that moving around all over the league. Um, trying to, uh, trying to, you know, trying to build championships. So the, and and you can. Yeah. And what I think is, you can win one. I you can put together a team and win one, but that's what mm-hmm. you're gonna get one. One because we've seen that they did that in Cleveland. They won one. Now Cleveland's starting to come back now. I mean, they got yeah. a pretty good team. Um, yeah, with Donovan Mitchell and, and yeah, those young gotta, guys, they they, gotta, they're, they gotta, they're coming back. They're yeah. going to be a force to be reckoned with in the East. And then you have Golden State, kept Nucleus, got four championships. Um, you know, but everybody else is playing. And, and, and he got like, two. Yeah, and, and you know, like the Lakers, uh, they brought LeBron in. He won the bubble. Um, you know, it was kind of at the other part of his career. Um, mm-hmm. But you can win one, but why not keep it all together and build something and say, hey, man, I played for – I mean, if you're going to play 10 years anyway, why not just play 10 years for one team? Make sure they got the commitment of saying, hey, we're going to build around you uh, mm-hmm. and win you two or three championships. Um, right. Instead of just kind of going, oh, I want to go over there. I want to, And that's why I don't think Harding will ever see a championship. 
Mm-hmm. I, I don't because I don't. he has to be a part of it. He can't win one for himself. He has to be a part of it. Yes. And he's not going to be in a situation where he's going to be a part of it because in order to be a part of a three, you can't be ball dominant. Yeah. You're going to have to give the ball up and, you know, there's going to be a, a specific role that you play. Yeah. Teamwork. I'll, yeah. Teamwork. Yeah. Yeah. And I don't see that much. I don't see that much out of it. No. Not out of, so, not out of Great player going to the Hall of Fame. But it's going to go to the Hall of Fame, I think, without without uh, a, any hardware. Um, yeah, I mean, he's made a lot of money. I mean, he's made yeah. a lot. Of, I mean, yeah. he is. He, he's made the money. Yeah, he definitely made. He definitely made the money. Um, but we'll see. Hey guys, another show in the books. We're about to um, close it down. We got a few. We got about twenty. We got about about twenty eight seconds left. I want to thank everyone. Thank Big Lou, everyone, uh, uh, for uh, everyone uh, listening to the show on KM Radio Sportsbook every Tuesday night. Tony G and Big Lou trying to chop it up, We're getting ready for football season. We're going to do our picks here pretty soon. All right, guys, we'll catch you next Tuesday night at eight o'clock right here on KM Radio, where we go ham. Hey. Hey.